Morning, good morning. What's up, that city? What's going on? What's up on this Monday morning? Who's with me? What's up? Who's out there? Good morning, good morning. I hope you had a great weekend. And if you did not, I have a message for you today. But um, I hope that that wasn't the case. I had an amazing weekend this weekend. Um, had a lot of time with God, a lot of time away from social media, right? Just on here and there to check a couple of things. But um, that was about it. Let me share with you what Yogi says. Because it ripped off, of course. Nature does not hurry yet. Everything is accomplished. And this thing, I just bought this and I don't know if it's, I don't know, but it's killing my eyes. I feel like it's burning. Mm, I chose lavender. But your attitude for the day, the first eight minutes of your day, your attitude is set in the first eight minutes of your day. I want you to think about this because some of us wake up and we think that we can have a horrible 20 minutes and then all of a sudden start working out the day. And that could be very, very hard because um, I've tried to do that before and that doesn't work. I've tried to do that. So the first eight minutes of your day, your attitude is set. So that's why you've got to get up grateful. You've got to start leaving the past in the past, the trash of the past that keeps you bound, right? You've got to let go of that. You've got to forget about yesterday. You've got to realize that today's a new day because soon as you, as soon as you open your eyes, those first eight minutes are golden to you. You need to be in a good space in those first eight minutes when you wake up. So to wake up with yesterday's trash and yesterday's thoughts and yesterday's anger and bitterness, right, and worriness, it's going to be very hard for you to change your day around. So you got to think about the things that you need to forgive and really focus on forgiving them. And something I learned that it took to, I'm sorry, let me, was going to invite here. Um, and something that it took for me to turn things around too and forgiving was accepting the truth. That's hard, right? Because when you got to forgive something, you want to know the truth about it before you forgive it. So <clears throat> you hear a lot of people say, you know, forget about the past, forget about yesterday, but there is a lot of work to do right there. And so you got to realize that your main goal is to be happy, right? You, you, that's the first, those are the intentions you want to set in the first eight minutes and you want to be happy. And this is what you, you want your day to be like. You have to understand right here that the truth here is that nobody can do this for you. So in this step right here, no, it's not my husband's fault that I'm angry. No, it's not like you can't blame anybody in this step right here in this phase, right? So when you wake up and you're setting that in, that intention and you're going to be happy and you're forgetting about the past, which I said that step right there, number two, is killer because forgetting about it, right, is very tough. It's that, it's that work, that forgiveness work that you got to do there so that way, when you do wake up those first eight minutes, you're not holding on to all that stuff. And in order to let go of all this stuff, what did I say that you needed? You needed truth. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a quick example right here, kind of crazy, but when um I was going through a tough time in in my relationship, I I wanted it to heal, but I realized that I needed the truth. There are some things that I didn't really want the truth about. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to hear that. Or I don't want to know that. But I did something very bossy. And I remember saying, if things are going to be better, I want to hear the truth, right? I want to hear the truth about everything. Because what that does is that sets me free. I have the truth. I have forgiven. I can wake up, be happy. I cannot blame anyone else for my happiness, right? It, it's these whole steps. But I, but I realized that, when, when it comes in between those steps, like forgetting yesterday's past and then beginning to be happy, that that work in the middle is very hard for people to do, that forgiveness works. And that takes a lot of maturity. It takes a lot of maturity, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that's how you're gonna be happy. Because when you have that maturity, you've allowed yourself to receive the truth, right? You've allowed yourself to forgive. 
you've allowed yourself to set the intention in the first eight minutes of the morning and be happy and have a great attitude because you also accept the responsibility and you know that you cannot place the blame on anyone else but yourself. Let me tell you how this has changed my life, okay? Let me tell you that because when I wake up, I know now, boss, that if I have a shitty day, it was my fault. See, even if somebody told me that before, I didn't accept that truth. I didn't do the work to even to even embody that because I didn't want that to be true. I didn't want like that responsibility. It's easy to blame. But now that I know that I have to do all these steps and I, it's my fault if I have a bad day, right? So I'm, I'm telling you this because the first eight minutes are so important, right? And they're life-changing for you. I don't want today to be like yesterday. I don't want tomorrow to be like today. Every day I want you to know that you're progressing, you're moving forward, things are getting better, life is getting easier. You're loving yourself more. You, you've put your foot down and asked for the truth in a way that allows you to forgive and move on and not place blame and never ever be where you were again. So now I gotta tell you this, I want these things for you, but I have to ask you, do you want truth? Do you want the truth? I'm gonna give you another example back to my relationship. When I wanted the truth, I asked questions like, what is it that she makes you feel that you don't feel when you're with me? What makes it so easy for you to love her and not love me that way? What, I asked tough questions because I wanted the truth, the truth, the life-changing truth. And that's what I'm asking you, are you ready for? Now, when I got life-changing truth, because I asked a lot of questions that were going to set me free, it's a tough process getting the truth is so fucking tough sometimes you'll find yourself settling to not even be in that space but that space sets you so free but it's so hard when you're there it's so pressing it's so scary you feel like you're gonna lose everything that you don't want to lose and that fear keeps you from your truth and your truth keeps you from your happiness and your best fucking life and when i learned that i needed the truth i started seeking truth in every area of my life so that's why it's important to to seek truth because once you know how to do it you see the effect of it, you have freedom, you will seek the truth in any other areas of your life. And that happened when I seek the truth in my relationship that set me free, I started to seek truth elsewhere in my purpose. And then lately, I'm seeking truth in God. So like now I'm always, I've conditioned my mind, I've conditioned myself to seek truth now so that I can be set free. And that's fucking powerful. And that's what I want for you. But only you can do this for you. Like, I love you. Like, I want to see you happy and free and, and, and living the best of life. But you've got to go through some steps and you've got to go through the painful process and you just can't put band-aids on things anymore. Those band-aids of, okay, I forgive you, let's do it, let's, let's go. Mm -mm. No, the truth. Why did we even get here? What's missing? What's lacking? What, 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 what is the feeling inside? Where is it coming from? that and then never a band-aid you won't need a band-aid after that it's no longer that wound you don't need the band-aid you just need your first eight minutes after that yes you need that 
And that's why I say no matter where you are right now, no matter what you're going through right now, you need to find something to be grateful for. Find something to be grateful for, and you better do it as soon as you get up so that you set your day up to be, to be blessed. You hear me? For your blessings to be multiplied. So I want you to do that today. I love you. I love you. Love you so much. I love you, Fab City. Um, remember, we are in control, but you got to do the work. I love you. Have a fabulous, fabulous Monday.